In this video tutorial, we're going to dive into the weeds, if you will, the power functionality that is Chess.com's analysis tool, explain some of the terminology and settings available to you, and maybe give a little bit of advice in terms of what it is you're trying to accomplish with a particular game analysis, or even just how to get the most out of our tools depending on your chess level of understanding and experience. So for this particular video, to really get the full view of what we're trying to accomplish, we're going to do away with my camera, not really needed. Goodbye, Danny. And let's focus on the full browser view. So I obviously got here by opening up a game from my own archive, right? So I can, I can navigate to my own game archives and find a game I want, and at some point I'm opening up an in-the-game analysis session. Let's say I've already been in the report tab and seen some of the different pieces of advice and takeaways that the chess.com game report tool, I can brag that even though I drew, I had a little more accuracy, but none of that really matters. What matters is now I'm ready to dive in to my own game, leave comments, I can do so by right-clicking, do all kinds of stuff to really maybe maybe save a, a game for my own future understanding and, and really take, take away what I learned from that particular battle. But there's a lot to these analysis tools. As we can see right now, there's all types of variations already being analyzed by the computer. We also know that within this settings cog, there's even more options of customizing this. And that's really what we're going to focus on. So to start, that initial game report we talked about by default is giving you this information at the settings that you have set up for it. If you're not happy with the takeaway, you can change the drop down by clicking on it and choosing all different kinds of stuff. You can switch to 20 and 10, 22, all the way up to depth 26. It might take a minute. Diamond members actually have the ability to run it at depth 30, which can take several minutes and give you an opportunity to step away, grab a cup of coffee or a snack and then come back. Now, our max position analysis is something that a lot of people don't even fully understand they're capable of using. You can choose a new engine at any time. In fact, Komodo, MCTS, is Komodi, Komodo excuse me, Multi Monte Carlo tree system. This is Komodo's version of a neural net and is actually a super creative way to approach finding the best move in a critical position. Of course, using Stockfish 10 is the most standard. We also always have the latest and greatest version of Komodo uploaded for you to choose. Let's say I switch to Komodo's Monte Carlo tree system for the particular uh, action I'm going to show you. Now I'm in my analysis and I'm actually trying to figure out what I should have done in, in a different critical position. Let's say, let's say all the way over here where I've already kind of blown my advantage, which I did to this guy. And I want to find out really what really is the depth going to tell me in terms of should I ran my king over to the queen side or should I stayed over here? And I want to give the computer some time to think. So I'm going to click this max analysis button. Now, that's going to turn on what we like to call the blue line. And what this tells you is that the blue line is running Komodo Monte Carlo tree system at a depth 27 right now. And if you give it more time, it will actually continue to increase its depth. This is running at chess.com's server's expense, if you will. This is running in the cloud, and, and we are powering this analysis for you. Of course, the other variations are running at whatever engine you've also selected. That, in this case, is Komodo MCTS. But that's at a local client side, meaning on my particular machine and browser depth of 15. But the blue line getting deeper is showing not only that it does agree that king f1 is the best move, as we can see, but it actually thinks that with more time to review, now up to depth 32, it really is confident that this is the best move and that I should choose that. So I definitely should have played that, which is what I thought I should have done after the game, to be honest. Really felt like I would have had a much better chance at an advantage in this endgame in something like this. Let's say rook takes e8, rook takes b7. Uh, and at this point, you'll notice the blue line has turned off. That is not an accident or a bug. That's by design because the max analysis we're powering with our servers in the cloud is only to be used when you really, really want to find out the truth and get that depth. So let's say, again, I'm here and I'm, and I'm still not sure what black should have played. I can turn it back on. I click max analysis again, and, and here we go. We're off to the races, starting out at the depth 22, as we saw, but it's going to continue to climb as our cloud continues to give it power. And this is actually a very, very cool feature that a lot of people just don't know they can use. Again, this is providing explanation as to what this position analysis being powered by our cloud is all about. 
As we said, the game reports are also powered by our cloud engine, and yes, both of these two things, the max analysis and the game report, are premium features. However, on that note, one thing we should note is that we also have analysis available in the cloud, in the client, if you will, the local browser, which is comparable to what pretty much every other chess site offers, and that is free to everyone. Uh, this particular max analysis, along with the Komodo Monte Carlo tree and the game report, are premium features. In fact, running it at depth 30 is a diamond only feature. But if you're a basic member, you also have the ability to run analysis, to choose Stockfish or Komodo at any time, to change the depth if you want. If you want to choose it and give it a little more time to think, you can you can choose at any time to switch to something else. You see it kind of populating as I do so in the upper right corner. You can also change the lines to be up to five if you want. And again, basic members, non-premium members, have the ability to do this, and this would be comparable to pretty much what you can get at most other sites. The extra special blue line, if you will, and the, uh, the tree analysis that's running there, as we had on Komodo Monte Carlo, is something that only premium members can do and is a very, very cool feature if you're really trying to dive in. So on that note, what is the chess advice that we would provide in terms of when this is most useful? I would say if you feel it was a very critical game, maybe in your tournament, or something that you just feel uh, that fr frustrated you in terms of really finding the answers, it might be worth uh, activating some max analysis at some critical moments to make sure you're really getting the answer. Obviously, we'd like to say that our initial game report has the max analysis and all the depth there that the uh, specific toggling it on in one position does, but the truth is it doesn't because it's very, very difficult uh, on the servers to give you that level of power. So we hope you'll use it. You have it as a premium feature, but the game report itself would be something I would advise you as for most levels of chess understanding, what you get from this and that basic setting is honestly going to be about all you need. Uh, even at the even at the depth 18 and 7 seconds, it's going to give you a blunder check. It's going to give you a pretty awesome list of basic takeaways in terms of what the big mistakes were. Uh, and, and that should help you. But if you're looking at a game that you feel was really critical, maybe you felt you were better at some point and lost the advantage, you might consider uh, doing some of your own self-analysis using this uh, position cloud analysis we're talking about or even running at a depth 30 and, and giving it a few minutes. So... There you have it. Hope this video gives you a bigger picture of what some of our analysis tools are about, maybe some functionality you didn't even know existed, and uh, some advice you can apply to your own games, whether you are a premium member or not here on chess.com. Thanks, uh, thanks for tuning in. Please leave a comment down below if you knew that these features existed uh, and uh, how you use them. And if you didn't know they existed, please, uh, please let us know and, and maybe offer any suggestions you want in terms of how we could bring things like this to light in a better fashion for all of you users over on our site. Thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe to this channel. It is our YouTube channel, and we appreciate it. A lot of people we find out watch these videos and don't subscribe, so I'm going to ask you to do that. And we'll see you around over on Chess.com.